Hashtag Oprah 2020. That campaign is taking on a life of its own after Oprah Winfrey's rousing speech at the Golden Globes. Will she make a run for the presidency? KKL9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with more on who's urging her to make a White House bid. You know, I think this shows how much affection there is for Oprah, but also how revved up people are about politics now in this country. Oprah Winfrey was never once said last night she was thinking about, considering, pondering, or preparing to run for president. But that didn't stop some of those who watched her speech last night at the Golden Globes, about sexual harassment, that is, from talking about it, speculating about it, and even debating it in some quarters. Her speech Sunday night at the Golden Globe Awards was a dramatic call to action on sexual harassment. For too long, women have not been heard or believed if they dared to speak their truth to the power of those men. But their time is up. But many of those who watched saw more than Oprah Winfrey framing the issue of the day in a way that touches everyone. For some, it was the opening salvo of a presidential campaign. So I want all the girls watching here and now to know that a new day is on the horizon. Asked about it after the speech, New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand said all options are open for Winfrey. I'm really grateful to what she said, and I think she's a real leader, and I think her voice is powerful and important, and whatever she wants to do, uh, she should do. The Internet was buzzing. An L.A. Times reporter who asked Winfrey's longtime partner, Stedman Graham, if Winfrey would run for president, tweeted that he responded, it's up to the people. She would absolutely do it. CNN reports two sources close to Winfrey say she's been having conversations about this for months, with some of her inner circle urging her to run. And Oprah herself has gone back and forth on the idea of running for president, like this on the CBS Late Show recently. Is there any chance she'll run for office? Never! But in another interview, she seemed to stoke the speculation. I thought, oh, gee, I don't have the experience. I don't know enough. I don't know. And now I'm thinking, oh. <laughs> then again, when asked about a possible presidential run on CBS this morning, she told her longtime friend Gail King, There will be no running for office of any kind for me. Ironically, when he talked with Larry King in 1999, Donald Trump was asked about who he might consider for a running mate. Do you have a vice presidential candidate in mind? Well, I really haven't gotten quite there yet. Uh, it's I guess it's just you Oprah. Always... I love Oprah. Oprah would always be my first choice. Oprah. Uh, Oprah. Well, if nothing else, the national reaction to Oprah Winfrey's speech certainly demonstrates how determined the Democrats are to try to find a candidate who could beat President Trump in 2020. And with no obvious front runner at the moment, they're searching for someone who can deliver straight talk to the American people and sell the Democrats' agenda to the voters. So we'll see how that works out. Huh? Well, even if she doesn't uh, run, obviously she's kind of raised the bar uh, on her name, which is already out there quite a bit, of course. Now, you mentioned some Democrats are already debating whether Oprah should run for president or not. So what are both sides saying about this today? It's kind of an interesting debate now that's developing. The reaction among some Democrats to the Oprah for president chatter has been mixed. Those who favor it say it would be fighting fire with fire by putting up a bigger TV star who's a uniter and much more popular to take on the current president. But some other Democrats say the country does not need another billionaire TV star. It needs someone who knows how to govern and has experience and a track record of accomplishment in successfully addressing national problems and international issues. Jeff, Lena, back to you. Okay.